Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to South Tin Beer Reviews. I am Tyler. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Tonight, we've got a beer from Urban South Brewery. Before we get into it, just wanted to encourage you to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Uh, so yeah, um, Urban South out of Houston, Texas. This is going to be, uh, I guess it's just called, I don't know if it's called HTX or if it's called uh, Brewed in the Sixth Ward. I'm assuming it's a HTX, but um, not completely sure. But uh, anyway, this does not have a canned on date. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about this one. I picked it up in Nashville while I was there over the weekend. And um, I reviewed Throwback Vibes, a West Coast like IPA from, from them uh, a little while back. Um, it was kind of more of a shelfy type. And I knew that they have kind of a higher tier line. And I think this is one of them. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and crack this thing open. I, I don't know really the specifics of it. There's not much info on the can, but um, I saw this at a bottle shop in the singles and thought I would pick it up. So let's go ahead and get it in the glass. It's pouring a kind of a light, cloudy looking, um, pale orange color or pale gold, I should say. And <laughs> pretty aggressive pour on my part, but hey, never killed anybody, right? Uh, anyway, uh, color, yeah, pale gold color, uh, completely opaque. Uh, it's got a nice looking haze to it. Uh, it's not that dirty, murky haze, but it's just very, um, I don't know, it's a beautiful looking beer. What else can you say? Three fingers of a uh, pretty, uh, it's kind of an off-white head, but it's got some tight bubbles, some medium bubbles, and some large Soap sudsy bubbles kind of scattered about there. Let's go ahead. We'll shove our nose in it. See if we can get through this uh, ridiculous head here. It smells good. Slightly muted. Ooh, I'm getting a big time cannabis type of vibe. Like, majorly. Super dank, weedy. It's got a big time uh, tangerine, citrusy vibe. I'm getting a little bit of like a cantaloupe, honeydew melon vibe. There's like a little bit of an herbaceous, like spicy character. Slight pininess. Maybe even a little stone fruit. I don't know what kind of hops they're using in this, but I'm just getting a kind of a wide range here of, of different things. Cannabis, uh, pine, herbaceous type of quality, spicy note. Uh, it's got some uh, uh, peach, like some melon vibes, a little bit of like some tropical things going on. Wow, it's very weedy. Um, very weedy, very citrusy with a nice hint of... Uh, or I don't want to say hint, a nice decent amount of uh, stone fruit as well. So this thing smells pretty nice. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Cheers. Okay, that's enjoyable. Dude, that is so, so weedy. Like, just imagine the smell of weed. And then just like throw that into like citrusy hops. Yeah, super weedy. Like, I, mean, I know I keep saying it, but it's very prevalent. Like it's very much reminiscent of marijuana. Kind of mixed in with like some orange zest, orange peel, uh, a little bit of like a um, uh, peach or, or apricot or something like that, um, you know, along with a little bit of pineapple or, um, you know, that honeydew melon type of vibe. That's good, though. What was the ABV? Did it even have that on here? Hmm, not much of anything on here. 
It's got their ad. Oh, here it is. 6.4%. Wow. Would not have guessed that. I was going to say it was a double, probably. Um, nice mouthfeel on it. Probably medium, somewhere around there. Uh, not picking up on much of the alcohol. It just had, I don't know if it was the sweetness kind of mixed in with that body of the beer, but I don't know. I thought it was going to be like a seven and a half to eight percenter. So, you know, a good bit lighter than what I was uh, kind of anticipating. Um, you know, it's got a decent amount of carbonation to it. Got a nice, you know, creamy mouth feel. Uh, like I said, about a medium somewhere around in there. Um you know, this has got a decent amount of hop flavor to it. A little bit of malt backbone, kind of a crackery or uh, maybe might be more bready type of malt. Uh, possibly a little bit of like a wheat or, or oat type of uh, thing going on. I feel like it's got a little bit of a graininess to it. But yeah, it hits with like straight up right, you know, front of the mouthfeel or front of the mouthfeel, like front of the palate, weed. And like stone fruit. From there, like mid palate, I'm getting more of the uh, melon and pineapple type of thing. And then on the finish, the finish has more of the herbaceous and piney type of bitterness there. Um, it doesn't linger very long. This dries out pretty quickly, being you know six point four percent. Doesn't have a ton of a residual sweetness that hangs out, but um, it does have enough sweetness to give it a juicy aspect, which I find really nice. And it has a little bit of bitterness too, like I said on the back. Uh, nice little balance of bitterness and juiciness. I would say it's a little bit more on the juicier, like sweeter side, but I don't know. It's enjoyable. This is my first, like I think, first uh, sixteen ounce. Um, IPA from, sorry, from Urban South, and I, I can't get over how dank this is. Um, this is enjoyable. I mean, it's a really nice first impression from them. Um, you know, this is different in a way. I got Maybe it's not so much different. Maybe it's just got more of that weedy dankness to it than a lot of the beers that I've had as of late, um, and it's kind of throwing a curveball at me a little bit. Um, I don't know, man. This is tasty. I, I really like it. I don't think I would change anything about this. I, I think this is a really nice first impression on like a hazy IPA from Urban South. And uh, I definitely look forward to trying more. I do have one more in the fridge that we will be reviewing um, along with uh, one of their sour, like heavily fruited sour beers. So definitely be on the lookout for that as well. But um, as far as a rating on this one, I think I'm going to give this one a solid 4.2. I, I think it's very solid. Um, I would re definitely recommend it. I would buy this again. If this was available, you know, you know, readily available to me, um, you know, I would probably pick it up again. Uh, pricing and availability, I don't know. This one, I think I paid like six bucks uh, for a single. You know how they do um, when we get these um, kind of out of market beers. They kind of, you know, up the price on them a little bit. I don't know what this would cost you. Um, if you lived in the Houston area, but if anybody in here uh, on the channel or any viewers um, are from Houston, feel free to chime in. Let me let us know. Um, but yeah, I, I would definitely, uh, I wouldn't have any problem paying for the, you know, 17 bucks or so for this, uh, for a four pack of this. I mean, I think it's definitely worth that. So um, yeah, 4.2, we're going to kind of stick with that. And um, Hopefully everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And make sure if you've had this beer, please chime in. We'd love to hear from you. And um, I think that covers everything. So um, we will see you in the next review. Cheers.